what, what, what the ladies talking about. What's up, family? A rising star on the right, Candace Owens, once was the CEO of a liberal website that compared Donald Trump, your president, to Adolf Hitler and suggested that he had a small wiener. Check this out. In November, amid allegations of racial bias, the conservative campus advocacy group Turning Point USA hired Owens, who is black, as its director of urban engagement. Last month, Kanye West tweeted his approval of Owens' thoughts. Last week, Donald Trump tweeted that Owens was part of a group of very smart thinkers that don't include him, and that she is having a big impact on politics. And this week, Owens mingled with Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump at the dedication of the new USA Embassy in Jerusalem. Yes, Owens, suddenly a new face of the American right, was less than two years ago the CEO of an online publication that frequently mocked the then candidate Trump, including conducting a mock investigation into his penis size. The story determined that it was likely small, very small. And in 2015, a column for the state lambasting conservative Republicans, Owens wrote that it was good news that the Republican Tea Party will eventually die off peacefully in their sleep, we hope. Welcome to the art of realizing you can make big money if you become some far-right talking point bullhorn. So many of these new conservative minds are people who failed at other things and they found a lane. They just want attention. They don't care how they get it. It's the old saying, any attention is better than no attention. Some people say, well, she woke up. <laughs> they love to say that. <laughs> she just woke up and realized what was going on. I do agree she woke up, and I do agree she realized what was going on. She woke up and realized that it was money in throwing her people under the bus. She realized that there are some white people, not all, but there are some white people who kind of get a kick out of seeing black people attack black people, because that's what she do. Follow her. Just follow her the way she talks. She never calls white people out on their shit. Oh, she won't do that. Because, I mean, she skate right around that. Same thing with all the other sellouts. Charles Barkley especially. Stephen A's and Stacey Dashes. Man, they, Jason Whitlock, you know, the, the, the rhinoceros looking dude. They go out of their way to attack black. But they will skate right around any type of issues that need to be examined involving white people, that needs to be critically examined. Oh, they will not do that for nothing, man. They're not going to do it. They stay away from it. These conservative outlets hire them to be their watchdogs. In fact, more like their attack dogs on the black community. Think about it. That's what they are. Attack dogs. Get them, boy. Get them, boy. Get them, girl. Sick them. Sick them. They always attack the black. Nobody else. Or anybody else, that's really not important. Well, you know, sometimes they go after ISIS, you know, just to round it off good. They'll say something about Muslims and they'll talk about the immigration, you know, all of the regular talking points, which is all hypocritical because all of these people, they use immigrants for what they need to use them for. And then when they can't use them anymore, they talk about sending them back on the other side of the border. 
but it's really all just game because many of them own businesses and stuff and they hire uh, immigrants. They actually hire illegal immigrants. <laughs> uh, well, they say undocumented immigrants. They do this all the time. Trump was doing the same thing as he was running for president, talking about sending uh, undocumented immigrants back to Mexico. And why do they always talk in Mexico when they talk about undocumented immigrants? They mainly talk about Mexico. They really, when they say undocumented immigrants, that's code for Mexicans. Just like when they say, when Trump was saying, I'm going to be the law and order president, that's that's code for I'm going after the blacks. See how it went down as soon as he got in? Even before he got in. But law enforcement really started showing their ass when he got in. Candace Owens has absolutely zero credibility. The only people she really appealed to is baby boomers over the age of 60. And they will turn on her. They will turn on her. And when they do, she will come crawling back to the black community. And I hope I'm around to see it. Because I swear to God, she come anywhere near me, I'm going to make sure I kick her, uh, kick her right in her damn head. She gets no pass. She try to come off as this intellectual and smart. That's how they do it. They try to, try to dress up nice and stuff so you, they can be believable. Dress nice and the makeup and hair and all that stuff and then throw around a bunch of pretty words and throw around the, the talking points. But she will go down just like the rest of them. She will get her black reality check. Candace on is not an intellect it's nothing smart about her. Uh, she's not even educated. I don't care how many degrees she show. She uneducated. At the least she has no class. Candace Owens was hired for the sole purpose of throwing the black community under the bus. Nothing more than a shock value conservative sellout, opportunist, buck dancing, Uncle Tom. I say Uncle Tom because if you look at her closely, she does have manly features. Candace, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?